Hey everybody, this is Jane and I am here to talk to you about Yesterday's Daughter. This is a book that I got used at a library book sale years ago. I'm not sure exactly when, but I was still interested in it and I read it for the reading rush in August, or in July, the July reading rush. Yesterday's Daughter is about a girl named Lini, whose mother left her shortly after she was born in the care of her grandparents. And now Lini is 16. Her grandmother has passed away a couple years ago and Lini's mother would like to come back into her life. Now Lini has a lot of anger. She's kind of bitter that her mom left and she does not want to accept her mother back in her life. So when her mother reappears, Lini runs off. She goes to this island and there is a boy there who is injured and she kind of befriends him and he kind of helps her see that things are a little more complex or could be more complex than she has initially thought. I gave this book a three out of five. It had an interesting premise. It was okay. It did what it was supposed to do, but there were some things that I didn't love about it. Starting with the things that I did love, again, Really cool premise. I love the, and, and I love that she's portrayed as being angry with her mom and not that desire to meet her birth mother and learn all about her. Because I feel like that's what's most often portrayed in books is the girl who's never met their parent and really wants to. Whereas Lainey, she's good. She's got her grandpa. They're doing good. She does not need her mom. And her mother has kind of reached out over the years trying to connect with her, um, sending her letters and stuff. But Lini doesn't want any part of that. She she just feels completely abandoned. So I did like that. Also, there are some really beautiful, beautiful quotes in this book. Um, and I think I can read these without giving too much away. But I want to read you a couple of really good ones. This is on page 127. Life isn't pasteurized and homogenized. Sometimes it doesn't have vitamin D added and won't meet all daily minimum requirements. So what? We'll get along with what we've got. And I thought that was so nice of a quote of, you know, life is complicated. It's not everything we always want it to be or expect it to be. You just got to deal with it. Um, so I thought that was a really good quote. And again, this book is about a girl who things aren't how she would have liked them to be and neither are they for her mother. Um, another one, and I think this is ironic considering how neatly this book ties up, honestly, in many ways, but um, one of the things that her friend tells her, or uh, it's not the friend that she meets, it's not the friend, the boy that's injured, this is a friend she has at home, it says, endings like that are mainly for books, sweet cakes, she murmured gently. In real life, most of us have to settle for something that isn't quite as tidy. Oh, that was absolutely beautiful. And then the final quote that I really loved was, we are happy, sweet cakes. You could be too, if you just quit trying to live other people's lives for them. So, Lainey was an interesting character. She obviously had a lot of angst and anger, but she's 16, and she doesn't have a relationship with her mom, so what do you expect, I guess? Some really quotable lines, a lot of really beautiful stuff in here, and I really appreciated what the book was trying to do, and I love that it was a quick read. I also loved that there is a lot of information about photography given. I learned a lot about photography because the boy she meets is a photographer, boy she meets over here, you can barely see him, is a photographer. So like they kind of bond as he teaches her about some photography stuff. Some of the things that didn't work for me. This book has a very literary storytelling style to it and I just don't enjoy that. I, I really just want a story that's a quick easy read. I don't want it to feel like it's on the work, especially for something that is YA and fairly thin. This book felt literary, felt like a lot of work to read. It also has some really slow pacing in a lot of places. And 
it just, it, there were times I was just like, can we just get on, get on with the story? And again, this is not a long book, so I just, I wanted it to go faster. There were a lot of times where I was like, it's just dragging and I don't care and let's move on. Um, another thing, I'm actually going to hold that off and do that as a spoiler. There was one other thing that kind of bothered me. It was dealt with okay, but her relationship with the boy, there were some elements that I found a little troubling in it. This book is fine. I don't plan on keeping it after this. I will be passing it on to somebody who hopefully will also enjoy it. It, it was fine. It, this has a lot of beautiful scenery. This is really has a lot of beautiful imagery with the setting. It, it has an interesting concept and asks a lot of questions about happiness and perception and how we view our situation in other people's. And I liked all of that. But it just wasn't really for me. I'm going to do a brief spoiler section of kind of what didn't work about the relationship. I don't know how spoilery it is, but I just, I think I'm going to throw it in the spoiler section anyway, just to be safe. So if you're hopping off now, I will see you next time. If not, spoilers in three, two, one. So this boy that she meets is a good bit older than her. I think he's 25 and she's 16, or maybe she, maybe he's 23 or 4. He's, he's old, older. He's an adult man. And she develops a crush on him to the point of even kissing him. And that just kind of set, it didn't work for me. Mostly because, you know, she's, she's 16 and he's nice and he's got the photography thing going on. But I just, I feel like she was a little old for the kind of crush that is innocent. And the author really uses the crush for her to understand how her mother could have had a baby out of wedlock. And it just, I don't know, I would have liked it more if they were the same age, if they'd have had a chance to maybe get together. Whereas if, if they'd gotten together, it would have been icky. And her kissing him was kind of icky. And like, he's a good guy. He tells her, you know, I have a girlfriend, we can't be together, and frankly, you know, you're a kid. But just the whole way that was done didn't really work well for me. And I I felt like it was kind of insta-lovey on her part. Like, she meets this guy, and yeah, they've got the photography thing to talk about, but it just, I didn't feel like their relationship developed as much as I wanted it to, as and it didn't feel natural. It felt like it was being used as a plot point. Like we need to convince her that her mom could have made a mistake because she liked a boy. So we're going to make her like a boy that she can't have and like understand how her mom could be in that situation. And I just, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't love that. Didn't love it. So yeah, yesterday's daughter, not bad. Not something I would read again. Have you read it? Did you feel the same way? Let me know below. If you aren't currently subscribed, please do so if you'd like more content. This is Jane. I'll see you next time. Bye.